a comprehensive, may I say, emphatic victory for the Kent Spitfires in the Royal London One Day Cup against a really good Hampshire team. And it's time for the Fitzgerald Jewellers Man of the Match award. It goes to Fabian Cowdery here for figures of 10 overs, 3 for 32. It's written there, it's underlined. Yeah. I loved it. Good spell with the ball today. Yeah, thanks. It's nice to contribute with the ball and get my 10 overs out. Um, treddy has been doing such a good job, so it's nice to uh, really play a part today. Well, your bowling is becoming increasingly important, isn't it, in the limited overs? Talk about the T20. You've had a good turn of the arm there as well. Yeah, T20 is four overs, so I'm on and off. But, um, yeah, so it's nice to get a bit of a longer spell here and support all the other lads. Um, nice to get a man of the match with the ball. And a good performance, which was needed, was it? It was a good bounce back after Tuesday's disappointing defeat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was, you know, but we, we can't blame it on the rain too much. Um, there was a bit of lack of discipline when we came back on, but great to bounce back against a very strong side, actually. So, really happy. The general feeling in the dressing room when it comes to T20s and 50 over cricket must be really good. It's, it's been a really good vibe this season. Unbelievable. And um, there's a great team around the moment. Um, you know, it, it, despite me standing here as man of the match, you know, Daniel Baldrum and Lady Pearl could be standing here as well. So, um, um, the fact that I've robbed, it, robbed it of him, I'm very happy. But um, you know, um, good to get a win. When it comes to the batting side of things, when you were out, did it get a little bit squeaky there? I'll try and tell you it didn't. But you know, it's always nice to get over the line eventually. And Blakey played really well, and I should have been there. Um, hold my hand up for a, for a silly shot, but um, at least we got over the line and we'll take the points and run. Good competition this for Kent last year, getting to the semi-final. Always want to get to Lords, one better this year. Oh, definitely, Lords finals is what it's all about. Um, it's the, the things that uh, county cricketers dream of, so uh, fingers crossed we can go one step further. And the game's coming up quickly, aren't they, in this competition? Sussex here in a few days' time, away trips as well, so that's going to be another big game here on Sunday. Huge, yeah. Um, they're coming up thick and fast. If it wasn't for the rain, it rained off at Tunbridge Wells earlier in the week, We've had five this week, 50 over games, so takes it schedule and we go again tomorrow, so no time to really dwell. And it's a nice little boost, isn't it, in time for the quarter-final of the T20 Blast, only a couple of weeks away. Um, so exciting. Um, you know, we've got a lot of young lads on our side who've never played in the finals day. Um, so yeah, to speaking to Darren and the likes who've already done it, it's, um, apparently it's incredible, so we, we're definitely desperate to get there. It'll be a brilliant day at Edge Pass, and hopefully the Kent Spitfires will be there, but in this Royal London Cup here at the Spitfire ground this evening, this afternoon, all day, whatever, uh, Fabian Cowdery is the Fitzgerald Jewellers' man of the match. The figures here underlined, 10 overs, 3 for 32.